Hello, welcome to me and my gold TV. I'm Piers Ward. This is Andy Private and we are in Bermuda. January, I've got the tour on the January, absolutely. So this is part two of a course like Andy, where exactly on that middle way golf and country club. We've already had two holes, six part course mm -hmm. Part two, can we get some birdies? We've had a good start, haven't we? A good start. Yeah, I haven't seen already, go and check it out, but uh, we won't tell you what you did, what I did. Go check it out, guys. Check it out, it's a good part two. Start there, Mr. Proudman. Thank you. Birdie, yeah. birdie. Right, we've got 237 yards. 237 yards. Nice, isn't it? Over water, water isn't really in play. If we do it in the water, it's pretty much off. And what have we got, Andy? Uh, I've got four irons. Uh, I'm glad it's downwind yeah. today. Could have been a driver. So I've got four iron. Flag looks like it's on the back here. Looks a little bit of room right of the flag as well. So. Yeah, I think so. Those trees sort of give you a little bit of money. The greens aren't big here, so no. it wouldn't uh, account for too much room there. So four iron. Up the left. So we've got the Fairmont Southampton there, which is where we'll be staying in a few days' time. Staying at multiple venues here. Probably just push that a little bit, that's actually really good. So it's just going to go down the other side of those trees. But that's probably only 20 feet right, the flag end here. Yeah, I'll say so. If the pull up, then I'm good. Good? Who knows? Right, I could go. I'm going for three in a row here, Pierce. You'll realise that. I did that. I did do that in um, Palm Springs, haven't I? The quick streak, yeah. Started three in a row there. So if you haven't seen part one, guys, make sure you check part one out. We're on part two now. Um, and part one, I started off. Uh, not bad. Well done spoiling it for them, by the way. Just. Uh, Really just filling them in. Get you to go to part <laughs> one. You actually went double bogey, double bogey. All right, glasses off. Same club, yeah. Four iron, yeah. Tight down there. Small green. Pierce has just hit a little down the left hand side. Let's see, just going towards the corner there. Yeah, I saw that. That's not yeah, bad. It's just missed the green, but a bit more to the right on it. But yeah. some short game magic required from you. Okay, so you can see mine there, guys. Just finish right the flag. Relatively straightforward put up the hill. This looks actually a pretty good shot. Missed the green left, but has fairly. I've hit it that far left before and been putting before. I must say. Yeah. So what you go? What are you opting for here, Biz? I don't even know yet. What are you thinking of? Well. So I would be thinking, certainly guys here, I'd be looking at, me personally, I'd be looking at getting this low, just getting it rolling, maybe even going sort of 7 iron. Pierce is going for the higher lofty club here, he's got a pretty straightforward shot, to land it on the front of the green. It's a spin, it's a spin. Pull that little heart. Open, gone down to the bottom of the green down there. A little bit of work left to do for his part. <laughs> <laughs> a, bit, a bit fiery on that one, Pierce. A little bit uh, aggressive, a little bit fiery. Just hit it right, come on, coming back now, coming back. Just needs a little more. Yeah, good line, good put there, Pierce. Didn't need much more. I'm going at the end, didn't it? But that was a nice effort, to be fair, Andy. Three out of three. Yeah, that would have been good, wouldn't it? A lot of slopes for some small greens. This is later in the day, so they're a little bit slower than they would be normally. Maybe not turning as much because of that. Yeah, this one's definitely uh, definitely right side of the hole. little tip there for you guys you can see how much that move there you know a lot of the a lot of players you know really use their feet to help them with you know reading the greens and feeling and uh, it's, a, it's a definitely a help for me as well So 
solid, solid, yeah, solid. Well done. There's a bit of break in that pin. I mean, worried then. That's after yours. Bit of break. Nice and firm. <laughs> Smashed it hard. Right. Here we go. Tenth hole, 320 yards. We're going to be hitting an iron here. Three iron again with Andy. Yeah, we need to hit this about 200. What Scott says there. So. Yeah. Back into the breeze and slightly uphill. So three iron. Three iron's a good stick. It's a relatively generous fairway. Might be wrong when we get up there, but relatively generous. That's fine, just slightly down the left, gonna be just about over that bunker, hopefully. Get over it. Ooh, yeah, easy, no problem. Just uh, something even prettier than Andy's golf swing. What, what, what's that? No way. There's the views over here. Okay, so three iron as well, Pierce. Like you. You're the driver, really. Yeah, you're just copying that's me, cold. there. You're just copying me. Yeah, copy. Copying my club. Okay, yeah, there's plenty of room up there. Yeah, really, so. Right at yours. And he has, and he said it's exactly, really where we want it to. Comes down. Yeah, nice shot there, right in the Good. middle of the screen. Now, good shot. A little bit on the bottom groove again. Had a little bit of a spinny backspin flight, but. Fairway, 30 time man. Yeah, you're ready for it now. Yeah, I'm ready for it now. This is our first game in Bermuda, guys. Um, and this is what we carry from tea to green, by That's the way. That's all we need. Green to tea. Um, um, yeah, this is our first one, isn't it? It is, yeah. So we've got plenty more coming up, but this place is really nice. You knew nothing about Bermuda, did we? No. I knew where it was. That triangle thing, heard of that Bermuda triangle. But didn't know anything. Bermuda shorts as well, heard of those. We actually got some of those. We've got some pink ones to wear some challenges actually, so make sure you check out for those. And check out our daily experience here guys. We've done a yeah. we filmed every day here, so make sure you check some of those out. You may have seen them. It's playing at Edge Hill at the moment, which is very good. It's the guy who's actually uh, set up this for us, Chris Morris. So he's been fantastic. In fact, where is he now? He's having some he's having to rum, be. isn't he? He's having a rum. Yeah. He's been with us all morning, but it's rum time now, isn't it, Scott? It certainly is. Yeah, so yeah, very fantastic game. Really good. Nice t-shirt. Nice position On the fairway. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, I remember yesterday. That's the heart I've, I've never had a breath walking yesterday. Right, how far have you got? 123? No, I've got about 135. Oh, sorry, 135. Oh, so yeah, 123 to the middle of the green, 135 to the flag. A little easy A time here. A little easy A time. So the bag, the, the, the flag back left. The bag? The, boys. the bag flag left. <laughs> Alright, so you're going in there. Hitting it soft daytime, keep it under the breeze, keep the spin off it. Definitely keep it in the camera length now. I'm going to say that that's got to be big. Got to be big. Now, now we're going to see some stuff. Big long. No, too much stupidity in that head, picking the wrong club. He was on the wrong club. Though. And there's the guy who was on the room we were just on about. <laughs> no, he wasn't on the room, he was just coming. He was probably we were giving me a hard time. <laughs> we were giving him a hard time off camera and he turns up. <laughs> I think he was listening. Right, so Pierce got 107, 107 to the flag. 100, no, 107 to the middle of the green. 107 to the middle of the green, so. 115, 115, 118, something like that. Quite a severe slope, so wait on the left side on this one, Andy. Okay, so downhill lie. Wait all on that lead side if I start I'm getting my weight 50 50. I'm going to catch the slope on the way back, or worse still, on the way down. I want to make sure I take the slope out of it. Low ball flight, which is great with this wind. Probably hit this a bit softer as well. and then spun back, not quite hard enough. Oh, that really good in the air. Not then. quite hard enough. It was a long chip and run that was. It was a long chip and run, wasn't it? That was perfect. And a nice little divot there. Yeah. Don't you repair that place, Pierce? Yeah. Hint, hint. Sorry, Scott. Okay, so Pierce has got about a 25 yard bunker shot here, uphill. He needs to really make sure he gets this up, sort of past this tier here, otherwise. It sort of levels out here, but if he doesn't quite get it far enough, it could end up back down. He's got it all the way, he's got it all the way, he needs to spin, he needs to spin, oh it's just held on, just held on. Unlucky that was there, just needed it to land on the green, it may have had a bit more action. Mine is just behind me here, just down there, I'm coming all the way up to, interesting shot for me here. 
Okay, really getting windy now, so apologies if you can't hear us too well. So, Andy, you can see in it a bad shot. The greens are so small here. I like Mr. Green with a bucket shot. But, but he hasn't got a lot of room to work with. He's going to have to open the face. Helicopter flop shot would go down well here. Can't see. It's not a reverse camera. You can see the big smile on my face right now. Yeah, it's a tough shot, Andy. I'm looking forward to how you're going to play this one. This one isn't actually too bad. You okay with that? I'd yeah. Have this one and the one I'm just. Oh, yeah, the one you had just had was uh, pretty tough. A little bit of rain yesterday as well, so the ground very soft. I right guess the color. I'm surprised he's not thinking about maybe going with like a Tex wedge and hitting up the middle of the ball or even putting it with a toe. But he's pretty good on these short game shots, so. Trust his judgment. Yeah, it actually sounded quite a solid strike. Yeah, not bad. That sounded quite a solid strike. I wasn't sure, I was just saying in the camera then, I wasn't sure you'd be able to play that one because of the, the collar behind it. Yeah. But because it, it was on an up slope, I could get the angle okay. into it. Yeah, that was, that was a bit better then, wasn't it? Because it didn't look, it looked pretty tricky. Right, so par is hard work on this short par four today. Do not miss the green. Right, here we go, Pierce is going putting. Just at the fringe here now. Pick it up now, it's going to be a little down, downwind for Pierce. And he'll be a little bit disappointed with that because it was online. He just needed that a little bit more. Okay, tap it in, good. Okay, this is for bogey. Cracky, we're having a tough time we've got on this hole. Yeah, pretty good tee shot, a pretty good second shot. It's a bogey. All right. All right. Bogey, short game, not good enough on that one. It was tough, tough, uh, it is tough round here though, isn't it, when you're chipping? Especially to elevate, I mean, yeah. you've got a lot of like, elevated greens, small, if you miss them, you haven't got much green to work with, generally, so. So practicing lofted chips, if you're going to play here, would be a good thing to do. Okay, there you go, that's the end of part two. No birdies in that part. No birdies in that part, not yet. But have to be in part three to make sure you come up. We guarantee that we'll have a birdie in part three as well. So make sure, guys, make sure you post any comments down below or questions that you think of. I don't want the first game here so far. I don't know.